this is to tell and listen to understand simply it is about communications expressing our feelings our ideas and letting others know and also we have to understand what others talk or speak or express including their body language we have to understand and we have to know how to express not only by words but by our body language how to communicate how to express and how to understand thank you this is anwar farooq and you can go slide by slide first see the pictures to get some idea and how they are drawing very simple drawings sketches it need not be accurate it need not be exact some simple line diagrams by showing how they are uh, expressing the feelings like happiness or sad or worried or confused or uh, angry or afraid many feelings are there you can express in various manners and it's natural everybody has got uh, these human feelings and emotions is not uh, new and it's not to be afraid to express or understand it's natural way and uh, it is uh, the part of life to express and understand okay well done in listening up to this and uh, try to be whatever possible okay thank you nothing to worry bye let's see further this is uh, the observation look see observe and also listen or simply listen or hear what others say what is the sound reaching you and what is its uh, uh, meaning and uh, what to do when you listen something and how do you react so first of all you must uh, receive the communication by audio or audio visual okay visual means by eyes you have to see and by ears you have to listen to understand slowly what uh, is happening around you or what others are seeing and looking or what others are uh, saying or what others are uh, doing these things okay it may be mission or animals or human beings okay all right this is looking and listening or listening this is to happily express or communicate so that others also enjoy your talk or simply talk so that others can simply listen this is communication skills slowly we one should uh, develop so that uh, it becomes easy to live with others and also to get uh, some help or do some help for others and also it will help uh, a lot in becoming independent in future life thank you how do you feel today how do you question feeling today how do you feel today by means of some diagrams you can express your feelings you can express or communicate how you feel today draw or sketch simple diagrams to show how you feel that is draw how you feel by means of some diagrams and slowly you can enact it by your body language how you feel you can show your bad body language or through words or uh, behavior or communications thank you
can you draw showing happiness? It's simple diagram, line diagram to show how a happy face appears. You can also show your face to be happy or to show your happy face. Okay, thank you. Can you draw something showing sadness or can you draw showing sh sadness? Means you can just draw a simple line diagram of uh, some face to show sadness. Means how the sad face appears. You can also enact by showing your sad face. Just an example. Just uh, how the communications work to express or to understand. Thank you. I am angry when that is you have to show in the next slide the diagram of an angry face or you can also show your face to be angry means act as if you are angry so or you can also choose one of the letters uh, of the various situations. 12 situations were shown in the very beginning. Uh, these 12 situations are, I will just show you, uh, tell you, F for fighting, C for cl clouds, rain, P for playing, B for badminton or beach, and T for TV, and R for reading, understanding, S for sleep, B1 for box or present, G for giraffe, and S1 for the uh, swimming or badminton playing and uh, uh, on the playground. Then S2 for uh, uh, shower bath with shampoo on the head so that uh, you feel uh, clean after the shower bath and uh, with water and we lastly the we vomiting or uh, throwing up or washing face and gargling etc these are the 12 uh, cases where you can express uh, one of them when you are happy or angry or so various situations okay so now how you show the anger you have to show the face Thank you. These are some situations where you can be uh, happy or sad, worried, angry, confused or afraid. In this case, I am just showing the three cases. FCP, fighting or cloud, cloudy, uh, a times with rain and just playing within by uh, among friends two friends playing fcp fighting clouds and playing these are another set of uh, three types of uh, feelings or situations one is the feeling when there is some play on the beach, beach, 
B. T for when you watch TV or when there is TV screen or when you are watching TV T. How you feel. And when you are reading or read and trying to understand so R. This is, uh, these are the three situations you can use uh, when somebody asks you how do you feel or what is the situation, when is uh, your happiness, when you are uh, sad, when is what type of feelings you get. Okay? Thank you. What type of feelings you get when you are sleeping or when you see a sleeping person that is S then B1 when you get some present or boxed gift or some parcel or box B1 how do you feel and when you see a giraffe G how you feel whether you are happy or sad or worried or confused or angry or afraid to see the giraffe how you these are some examples so you can use uh, uh, in answering or sketching some simple diagrams for each of the questions that follow these slides these are other three situations number one is s1 that is when you are swimming how you feel or when uh, maybe you are afraid of water or uh, swimming or, or while inside the water floating or drowning and also when you are playing some badminton shuttlecock on the playground or inside the, uh, your garden how you feel another thing is s2 that is you are just a shower you are taking shower and you are using shampoo on your head for shower bath and uh, the third one is vomiting or uh, you, uh, using the um, wash basin gargling and uh, throwing out so these are some situations how you feel what is uh, your feeling you can just uh, use these uh, pictures or line diagrams or simply you can use S1 or S2 or V or S or B1 or G or simply B, T for TV, R for reading, F for fighting, C for clouds or rain and P for playing. You can if you cannot uh, draw the diagram, you can use uh, you can watch these uh, uh, pictures or see that, and then you can just write S one. How you feel S one? How you feel uh, uh, when do you uh, or when are you happy? Means B one means when you receive some present, something like that. You can show the pictures or write the. Uh, name of the picture or simply draw the picture on your paper and then show thank you i am happy when now you can just choose uh, in the next slide uh, when there is some gap you can just uh, draw some figure or uh, you can tell the name of the situation where and uh, when you are happy I am happy when you can just show the figure or show your feeling by your own face. Okay, thank you.
Now, how you show the feeling of sadness? I am sad when. So you have to show the diagram or uh, face uh, how the face uh, shows sadness. Now, I am worried when you have to show worried face, how it appears. You can choose one of the uh, 12 letters or 12 symbols in what situation you are worried. I am angry when. So you have to show in what situation you are angry or you have to show your face as an angry man or angry uh, woman or angry girl or angry person, angry boy. And uh, you can use one of the 12 symbols or letters of uh, situations where you are angry or when you become anger, angry man, angry person, angry girl. I feel confused when so you have to show the confused face or you have to draw a simple face or simple situation where the confused uh, face becomes possible or 
you become confused in what situation you can use one of the 12 cases of uh, the times when you get confused or when you feel confused okay I am afraid when, so you have to say, when do you get afraid? I am afraid when, you have to say, which uh, of the 12 situations you become afraid. So those uh, things are given in the very beginning as well as and the uh, following uh, situations like F, C, P and uh, other things like uh, badminton, playing or beach or TV, reading, etc. Swimming, so on. These are the situations when you get uh, different type of emotions. F for fighting, C for uh, cloud or rains, and P for playing together. These are other three situations. B, C, R. Out of the 12, these are the second uh, set of three situations uh, playing or um, on the beach on the seashore and watching tv and uh, the how you feel in front of tv or when you are reading a book to understand or think that is r okay These are the third set of uh, three situations. S for sleep, when you are sleeping or when you see a sleeping person. B1, when you get uh, or when you see a parcel or gift or uh, gift box nicely wrapped with a tag in your name or somebody's name. So how do you feel? Happy or uh, worried or whatever you have to just use this b1 letter or this figure whenever you are asked how you feel in what situation in uh, when you uh, feel happy uh, what uh, is the situation that way you can answer using s or b1 or gg when you see a giraffe how you feel are you worried or afraid something like that you have to answer or show the diagram this is the last set of uh, uh, the three uh, situations. So, out of uh, four sets, four times three, twelve situations, this is the last uh, uh, fourth situation that is S1, S2, V. 
S1 is for swimming or uh, in the water uh, and uh, badminton, shuttlecock, playing. So S1. S2 is for uh, the uh, shower bath or taking bath using shower in the water. And uh, lastly, the V, vomiting or uh, throwing up or using wash basin and uh, gargling water, etc. Okay, thank you. And uh, this is very important to communicate your feelings or you should understand when do you feel, uh, what type of feeling you get at what si in what situation. And also, it is under, uh, easy and it's necessary for you to understand others' uh, uh, feelings also. Uh, if you see anybody doing these type of things or uh, showing the feelings, then you can understand like body language, studying and understanding the body language so that uh, you can improve your uh, understanding of others and also expressing yourself to others so that others also can understand in a uh, normal way. But sometimes it may be different, but this is just for helping. You can also improve and create your own ways of communications and uh, work. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate uh, your patience and uh, I wish you all the best to slowly, gradually develop your communication skills by language or by showing your uh, uh, feelings in different ways so that uh, others can understand or you can also understand their feelings or emotions. Thank you. Best of luck. I'll be very proud if you can just uh, use uh, uh, these things and create other things and develop uh, slowly to write or read. Read means not just uh, the language letters but also others uh, body uh, expressions gestures okay gestures thank you bye bye this is anwar from london